leveraging AI in this process, leveraging public resources, fascinating. Like, I feel like the technology um, available in the consumer side of the world is more sophisticated than in the B2B. Because I think of maybe, and it's more clunky in some ways, but also like far more sophisticated, probably because of the amount of users and the variety of use cases, but it's been fascinating what you can do. The implications for different industries, I, I feel like are, are going to be substantive. And did you recently write something about using Sora, for example, on a blog or <laughs> anything like that? I did. Um, I have been writing about my experiences experimenting with Gen AI, not for finance use cases, um, but more just to explore the tech. And Sora has been fascinating. I think I've gotten a much better sense of like how you target, what is the right shape of a use case applied to Sora as a technology. And so I did write something about it. I forget what I called it. I think it was just like a reflection on it, but feel free to, to check that out. I've been looking at um, different different kinds of integrations and like different parts of the stack of where I would integrate AI and images. And it is like a moral and ethical debate. You know, I certainly look into the, the rights of the data. Is it manipulative to use? AI and in, in like advertising, how should we think about this? So, you know, those are all like, I think conversations all small business owners should be having right now. Like these are real, you know, there's real budget concerns that you have to be thinking about. There's real like content creation in the space that you should be leveraging. 